you are God, they don't care a damn. Right now they are. If you could be drunk, totally intoxicated and fully aware, it would be a fabulous thing. Your search may be great, but unless you do the right things, right things will not happen to you. So, this uh, 60s business, the beauty about this is a whole generation, at least a part of the generation realized the existing society here, whatever they're talking about, they knew nothing. Stupid people talking all kinds of nonsense with great confidence. Not just about the world, about the other world and the heaven and the hierarchy in the heaven. Everything they're talking but they don't know a damn thing. Whatever hierarchy that you create right from your childhood in somebody's mind, this is the beauty of intoxicants. When they get intoxicated, they don't care a damn, you're a father, you're a priest, you're something. You are God, they don't care a damn. Right now they are high. That is the beautiful part of it, that hierarchy falls down. But the problem is your awareness also falls down. That's the ugly part of it. If you could be drunk, totally intoxicated and fully aware, it would be a fabulous thing. That's why we chose yoga. <laughs> Because if you can be totally drunk, look into my eyes and see, I am stoned all the time. <laughs> but aware enough for this world and the next. So, this was the beauty of the sixties and the ugliness of sixties is unaware they became like animals over a period of time. They thought with this seeking, they'll go beyond where all this conservative nonsense is going on where you have to put a noose around your neck even to sit or stand, if you have to eat, you have to eat like this, if you have to stand, you have to stand like that. It was becoming so horribly restrictive. They wanted to break away from everything and that search looked beautiful. But they lost their awareness and they floundered, they didn't know which way to look. Wherever they looked, they were only deceived. Or they got deceived because they were unaware whichever way. It didn't work, but still there is a certain beauty to it, at least somebody searched. Yes, you failed, that's not the point, at least you searched, it's a good thing. So, uh, they were like children not knowing anything, but they had a longing. They had a longing to seek something which is not in their grasp. When somebody is wanting to know, when somebody is, want, is seeking, genuinely seeking, there is a certain beauty to that atmosphere because at least people are admitting, we don't know a damn thing, you know, which is nice. Whenever a human being does not know, he becomes gentle and wonderful. Have you seen this? Hmm? So you are driving like this, mm, you are hummer. Oh, not like this. You are on left hand drive. Okay, like this. <laughs> Suddenly you don't know where you are going, you are lost. Then when you get down and ask somebody, you don't know which way to go, suddenly you are a nice guy. Because when you don't know, when you realize I do not know, you are a gentle creature. Please this, see this. When you think you know, you can be unnecessarily nasty, isn't it? Yes? So that's the good thing about the sixties, but the outcome was definitely not good because your intentions may be great, your search may be great, but unless you do the right things, right things will not happen to you. I think we've been saying this from day one. Hmm? Unless you do the right things, right things will not happen to you.